Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. A West Elmira teen is arrested after a stabbing yesterday. 18-year-old Xavier Bright Tappan is charged with attempted robbery and assault. Police were called to a car accident just before 11 last night on Gwinnip Avenue near West 2nd Street. Police say they found a 21-year-old man with two stab wounds in a parked car. Because of his injuries, he ran into a parked vehicle. Police say Bright Tappan ran from the scene and was taken into custody in a nearby yard. An Elmira man is charged after police say he stole a little Debbie truck to visit his friends. It's 38-year-old Joseph Taco. Police were called to Weiss Market today after that truck disappeared. They say they found it about 20 minutes later at a home on, get this, Baker's Lane. Police say Taco admitted to taking the truck. It does not appear that any inventory was taken. This week, Corning Community College will be holding a series of sessions to help students fill out their FAFSA forms. The college is calling it FAFSA Fest. The first session was today, and there are two more this week. Events are designed to help students who are returning, incoming, or even just considering attending CCC fill out their FAFSA forms. Staff from the Financial Aid Office will be assisting with this process. No sessions will take place again on Wednesday and Thursday in the Commons Computer Lab. The Powerball jackpot is climbing after no one won Saturday night's drawing. That brings the Powerball up to a now estimated $750 million. That jackpot will be the fourth largest in U.S. lottery history. No one has won the Powerball since the day after Christmas. But, as you see, there were many trying today, purchasing tickets at Brown Cigars on Market Street. First thing I do is invest it wisely. I'm not being serious. Uh, I would probably, I'd probably buy a new Cadillac. That's the first thing you do? Sure, why not? Yeah. Would you remain anonymous? Would you try Yes, yeah, so I would try to be anonymous. Yeah, I wouldn't want anybody to know. I would probably, I'd buy out Brown Cigar Store, would be my second move. <laughs> and then I would probably, no, I would give a lot. I, everybody says this, but I would give a lot to charity, I think, right. to help people in need. Yeah. yeah. No, I buy Powerball every week because I just want to win the Powerball. It doesn't have to be $700 million. I'm happy with just a few million. The odds of winning this week's Powerball are less than one in $292 million. And while most experts advise lottery winners to stay anonymous if possible, in New York State, you do have to disclose your identity if you win. It's been a pretty chilly start to our first full week of spring. Meteorologist Kim Walker looks ahead to some warmer weather in your Big Fox forecast. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, welcome back everyone. A cold front pushed through last night and so as a result, we did start off with a little bit of cloud cover. Those winds kind of howled in uh, coming in from the north and so as a result, those temperatures are a lot cooler than they were yesterday. About 8 degrees cooler right now in Elmira 11 in Watkins Glen, about 12 degrees cooler in Corning. We're going to continue with that cool weather as high pressure builds in. We're on the east side of it, so that's going to leave us with chilly conditions, but dry conditions. That means we'll see plenty of sunshine for your Tuesday. It's going to start off pretty cold, though, with readings below freezing and then sunny, and it's going to be cool, but we're going to enjoy lots of sunshine during the week, and there's going to be a warming trend through the latter part of this week. Showers will be possible by the end of the week with another storm system that will be coming in, but tonight it's definitely going to be cold. At least it will be clear. Temperatures dropping down to around 14 degrees in Elmira, 17 in Corning, and also in Watkins Glen. The winds will be light coming in from the north northwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures tomorrow will be much like today with a high of around 41 degrees in Elmira and also in Corning, 42 in Mansfield. William Sports around uh, 46 degrees. Our seven day forecast calls for that warming trend through your Thursday. We're going to enjoy plenty of just nice sunny days. 
Temperatures on Wednesday will be around 52 degrees, climbing to nearly 60 degrees on Thursday. Notice those overnight lows will also increase as well, and that's because we're going to see a little bit more cloud cover by the end of the week. On Friday, we dropped down a few degrees, but still very mild with a high around 56, and then we jumped up to around 66 degrees ahead of a cold front that will come in. Showers will be possible this weekend. We're going to see a lot of cloud cover as well. And then once that cold front comes in, temperatures will cool down. So by Sunday, our high will only be around 42 degrees and then dropping down to around 42 as we head into early next week. That's a look at your weather, Scott. All right, thank you, Kim. Turns out that man's best friend can also be dog's best friend. Charlie, an elderly dog in South Carolina, has a new companion, a seeing eye dog for himself. The 11 year old dog lost his sight to glaucoma, so his owner has decided to bring in Maverick, a four month old pup, to help Charlie get around. Maverick helps Charlie during their walks, as you see there, and brings him toys when they play. This adorable doggy duo have become a hit online. They now have over 40,000 followers on Instagram. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.